Mazone HD Sportsnet presented by the JMU Alumni Association. I'm here with head women's golf coach, Sarah Sargent, and guest, Emmy. Sarah, thanks for joining us today. JMU finished third place at the Rutgers Invitational out of 11 teams. Talk a little about the course and the tournament. It was actually a really good tournament. I'd never been up to it before. Um, the golf course, when it's sneaky hard. Um, it's one that you drive up to and you're like, oh, it's just a campus golf course. You know, you look at it, nothing spectacular. And then you get on those greens, and they're really good greens. Um, I think they tricked us a little bit. Um, but it was a great golf tournament, really well run. I'm happy that we could add it to the schedule. And then Madison Cox led the way with a fifth-place finish, followed by Laura Gomez Ruiz placing seventh as an individual. Talk about, about these top finishes. Uh, it was good to see Maddie's playing good again. Um, it's so funny because she just does not play very well at home, but she puts that game face on when it comes to competition and she's ready to go. Uh, and Laura, I hate that she played poor um, in qualifying before the tournament, so she went as an individual, but I love that she played well. She just needed a little confidence. Um, last spring she did great at the end of the year, and then as she has gotten back to school, it's just been a little bit of a rough ride. So I just need her to get some confidence back, and then she'll be back in action. And then in these tournaments, mostly the teams only offer five golfers to contribute to the team scores, but allow for individuals to play. How does this help not only the team, but the individuals improve? Um, the best way I can put it is a softball team. If they win conference, it's not just the girls that were on the field that get a conference ring. Um, it's the same in women's golf. Although you have some people, we don't travel with everyone. So there's people sitting at home. Those people that sit at home or play as individuals push the five that are playing. If you know that you're going to be one of the five, there's only so much intrinsic pushing that there can be. Um, you need a little outside push. So having a team where literally everyone on our team has traveled this year, I've never had a team where everyone has traveled in one season, it just makes your team that much better because everyone knows they have to be a step ahead in order to travel. And everyone wants to travel. I mean, that's, that's the goal of a player is to – go to a tournament and see how well they can play, and for the team. And then there is only one tournament left in the fall season, heading to the 30th annual Pat Bradley, hosted by Flirt International. What are you hoping to accomplish in this last tournament before you close it out? I really would like a finish that I know our team can have. We have not had one this um, semester. Our conference ranking came out, and it was upsetting, just because I know we have the ability. Um, it's my job as a coach to figure out why we're not producing in a tournament. Um, I go back to the fact that we're young all the time, which is very true, but still I need to figure out how to, even though we're young, get the best out of every one of our players. So uh, we might have a little different tactic on the golf course uh, as coaches this week, see if that helps out, but hopefully a good finish. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us, and good luck. Thank you.